What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, I got a jam-packed video for you guys. Class will be in session today, which means I will be bringing out the charts, teaching you about support and what to look out for when stocks reach actual support, okay? Listen, keep it locked. I got a jam-packed video. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you help this video get at least 1,000 likes. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, guys, check this out. You guys know by now that I'm a long-term buy and hold investor, okay? That's my claim to fame. That's how I built my wealth. That's how I retired early and young, okay? But listen to this. Once you master how to invest and buy stocks and hold them three years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, okay, there's nothing more to do okay and so therefore a skill known as trading it was something that i learned and i became very very masterful at okay and what i like to do with my earnings is put it right back into my investments okay and so i'm going to share with you guys some stocks that i bought that these profits go into so that i never give the money back to wall street but i'm always buying more assets okay let's go ahead and dive into it okay guys check it out historically september is a month that likes to go down okay you sometimes at least for the last three years 2020 2021 2022 and it remains to be seen what kind of year what kind of month we have in september of 2023 however one thing i love to do just in general but definitely in the month of august and in september is to begin accumulating aka dollar cost averaging and buying shares of sqqq as you can see guys it's currently sitting at 17 dollars 78 cent i love to get this under 20 dollars preferably but if it's under 19 if it's under 18 that is even better why because the name of the game is to buy low no matter what you're doing no matter what asset it is you're buying you want to buy it low and then you take advantage of the run high okay and so with that being said guys look to add this as part of the mix of your diversified portfolio and while it's in the 17s if you can see if you can scoop up between 25 to 50 shares okay you don't have to go in with a lump sum but if you can dollar cost average your way and route to your first 125 shares it is ultimately trying to build out to a thousand maybe but at the lower end of the range okay that is what you want to do let me know down in the comment below if you guys have sqqq if you have or how many shares you have and what's your average cost okay remember buy this as low as you can preferably under 18 dollars or below is the ideal level you want to be 16 would be sweet if you guys can get it in the 16th okay but sqq is a stock that that play i just showed you guys those base hits that i like to hit every single day i like to find my dividend plays my passive income stocks my hedge place okay and i like to build those out and okay and if there's something like a google or amazon or apple that is at a good price point or a good buy zone then the profits at those times will go into those but listen those stocks are at all-time highs so i don't chase and i don't buy high that's how i consistently dominate the stock market okay with that being said guys i want to look at the stock we're going to talk about today which is tesla ticker symbol tsla that's sitting at a support level which is a key support level at 245.54 check this out guys because if we lose this level which we broke through temporarily 243 look at that we touched 243 but then we bounce back up to 245 245 is the support but if we lose 245 guys of course we can test 243 again but we're coming down much lower than that near term 237 I just want to share that with you guys because this may be leading the way for what's to come. Remember, we said September is a month that the stocks like to go down. All right. Right now they're running up. So don't get faked out with the Tuesday run up. OK. And then on Wednesday, Thursday, they begin to kind of sell off or they might hold it to the rest of this week. And then next week they might begin to sell off. I want you to be on guard. I want you to be alert. Tesla started the charge downward. And so don't be surprised if other tech stocks follow. Be looking at NVIDIA, be looking at Microsoft, be looking at Meta, be looking at AMD, be looking at Apple potentially. Apple might be a buy the rumor, sell the news. So they have the iPhone situation 
thing coming out, a new product release September 12th. So typically every time that happens, Apple crashes in route to that. So they might run up until the September 11th or the day of, and then once the new products come out, boom, the stock crashes. So if Apple don't crash ahead of time, look forward to crash around that time, okay? But I just want to put that on you guys. Let's go ahead and dive into the charts. Okay, guys, check it out. We got the 30 minute chart pulled up here and Tesla is currently sitting at 245.25 and after hours, but it closed at 245.01. And look at this. This black line is number one, is the 200 EMA. And that's number one, but it's also number two, it is support, okay? So it is serving two points and you need to be mindful of that. Do you see temporarily? This is it coming down to 243. Look at how it it broke it broke through that level. Okay. The next level will be 240, but I just told you 237 is where it will come at. That's the next level of support, even further down than the current support. Let's put that at number three. Okay. But check this out, guys. What you want to understand is that at support stocks can sometimes pierce through okay and so you want to ensure that there's not a false breakdown you want to ensure that support is going to hold or you want to as i often say react to what you see so sometimes typically if volume steps in you will see a bounce at support but if no volume don't come in or the volume is a big red candle then that's your indicator that it's going to be more downward pressure on the stock, okay? So right now, let's go ahead and look back at this. Potentially at support, what you ideally want to happen, you see this candle got above it, they would be going back to 247, and that would be a level of resistance, okay? Let's put R for resistance. Above that, they'll have resistance at 250, all right? So those are some levels that Tesla might can test back to, but that's a high level that it can get rejected if they get up that high, okay? However, if they can get back that high, then that 260 level was the big resistance area all along that this play could not supersede. With that being said, it's important to understand you got to have moves being made to the upside and the downside, okay? That's why I often say learn to make money in both directions. Matter of fact, be okay with making money in both directions, all right? Let's go ahead and dive back into it and clean this up a little bit, all right? Just to clean this up, I wanna show you guys, check this out, all right? If we lose the support, that's this level right here. Remember, always know where support is at, okay? If we lose support, then boom, then this stock will be coming down here okay to the next support and support will be at 237 write this down guys support will be at 237 and that's going to be the next level that tesla will fall to so that'll be closer to around these levels right here you will kind of see it line up and i want you to be looking for 237 now it can go a lot further down than that but i always like you to know that the near-term level that a stock in the current direction it is going may test next okay so to the downside from 245 look for another eight to ten dollars to test that 237 235 level okay and on a bounce you guys saw the resistance levels 247 250 be looking to at least get some friction have some sort of battle up at those levels if we can break through that's a good sign that is a bullish sign and that may give us another uh swipe at 260 okay listen guys i hope these daily teachings and i hope these lessons add value to you i hope they help you i hope they give you some clarity okay this is free information that you guys don't have to pay for some expensive course i'm going to show up every day because i believe you guys need to learn this and those that do i can guarantee it'll change your life because now you will know a skill lateral to your work lateral to your job lateral to your side hustle that can also help supplement your income expedite the debt payoff process and ultimately get you guys off the corporate plantation man listen if this sounds like something you want to become a master at 
don't hesitate to like and subscribe. Be sure to join us in our Discord. Link for that is in the description below. And remember guys, we make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. So do me a favor. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.